Hey everyone, it's Chris Loud. Today I'll be exploring the use of unconventional materials in an abstract painting. I chose five items from different areas of my house and I'll show you what those are. So I grabbed some, some sticks from the backyard and I just grabbed ones with different uh, ends, different sizes uh, to play with that. I grabbed from my living room uh, a leaf from a jade plant. This had fallen off, um, so I think that will be an interesting one to try out. From the kitchen, uh, a plastic bag that a bunch of peaches came in, so I'll play with that a little bit. A clean Q-tip and a can. Now the great thing I was thinking about after I grabbed this can was that it has this little tab so I can actually use this tab to scratch into the painting or it's got some some holes maybe I can use that as a little bit of a stencil uh, for colors I actually decided what I would do is go ahead and try and just use colors of the items so for the uh, for the jade leaf I'm gonna use hookers green um, and when I'm saying use I'm just developing my color palette I'm not necessarily going to paint a leaf but um, this blue has a lot of blue, or this can has a lot of blues on it. So I'm just going to use a light blue permanent, which is, you know, rough, but it'll it'll do the trick. And then for the bag and the Q-tip, I'm going to go ahead and use um, titanium white, some Nova Color titanium white. And then for the sticks, I figured I would grab some burnt sienna. And I just got this terracotta color, so I thought maybe a mix of, of those two. So those are the colors I'm going to use, uh, the materials I'm going to use. Let's see if we can make uh, an interesting abstract painting out of these. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me, I have everything set up here. I've got my, my blue, my white, my hooker's green, terracotta, and burnt sienna here. Um, and honestly, I don't really know. I have a vague idea of what these items are going to give me as far as marks or um, what they're going to do on the on the page but I'm just going to start off I'm going to actually use this leaf uh, to get a little bit of color down and I'm going to see if I can get this uh, can to work kind of as a brayer so I thought about rolling. I'm going to try and just drag first and just see what I'm going to get. Oddly enough, I, I kind of like what, what it's doing already. Um, it is kind of blending some of these colors. I mean, it's, it's very light. I don't have a whole lot going on there. I'm going to try using this, this leaf as well. So I'm going to, I'm going to kind of experiment on the background uh, by seeing what each of these can do. Um, put that down and we'll grab a plastic. I'm actually going to, if I can find my scissors, cut a little of this plastic off so I don't get it all, all dirty. And I'm just gonna bunch it up and just kinda see what I can get for some texture. I'm gonna get a little of that white That's already giving me a great texture. The kind of fun thing about using unconventional items like this, or just items you're finding around your house, you just, you know, you might have an idea of what you're gonna get, but you really don't know until you just start playing with it. And uh, sometimes you get some some great surprises in there. I'm gonna grab one of these sticks and just start trying to scratch a little bit in here. Now it's very dry today. Um, you might be able to tell that from my voice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so this paint is already starting to dry up a little bit. As little as I've done with it. Now I'm going to add a little bit of green in here. Get a little water on this. And I'm not sure how well that's going to work with the rest of it, but only one way to find out. So 
So I think I'll try mixing a little bit of this um, burnt sienna with some of this hooker's green. The hooker's green is the darkest uh, color that I have on here. Let me get that branch kind of wet. So I'm just going to see if I can make some other marks. And not having a whole lot of luck. With that said, I actually do kind of like the, the marks that I have on there. And it is quite random. And get this uh, bigger one here. Get a little water on that. And a little of this burnt sand on it. And I'm just going to stand back a little bit. And before I forget, I want to say a quick thank you to Thea for her recent Super Thanks donation by hitting that Thanks button. And although it's, you know, I don't have a lot of contrast in here because uh, I have a little bit lighter values with, with these colors. And I'll change that with that uh, green. I actually do like what I'm seeing. Uh, I'm going to bring in, if I can find it, this little... Uh, tab and I just slightly wet this q-tip and dab it in this green and I'm gonna see if I can't use this as a stencil a little bit I might have to get out the hair dry and dry a little bit but Give me a little bit more contrast. I don't want to do too much of this, but um, I do. I do like that. Let me get a little more of the other one here. All right, we got a good start. I think that's a, a good background. I'm going to let that dry and come back, and we'll keep working it. Okay, I've dried that a little bit. Um, I'm gonna try now to do a little bit of mixing with the blue and the green. Let's see what I can get here. Um, this will obviously be a little bit more of a, a lighter painting. Um, I, I like how this, this jade plant or leaf I should say is bringing uh, a very smooth texture to it and I'm going to get this bag back out and in a couple of these areas not all of it uh, make it a little more I guess dappled stick back out see what I can do as far as scratching through that's not working real well to scratch through I'll take this from the can see if I can scrape away at all not really not really finding the limits to these into the can I think the problem is the, the paint has dried enough now that uh, it's not going to work for me too much. So let's get a little more of this blue on here. A little bit more white. I really have not used the terracotta much. Use this can to make some kind of random marks here. Right, so I think one of the biggest issues that I'm seeing right now, <clears throat> pardon me, is contrast. Uh, how I'm going to get uh, a decent amount of contrast with these particular colors that I have. So I think what I will do is try and get a little more of this, this uh, burnt sienna down. 
because that will add a little bit more of the contrast. And again, I'm going to use, kind of keep it with the overall look of this. Use this bag to kind of get it, I guess, a little more dappled. Now I've covered up some of those green dots, which is okay. I'm going to go ahead and change orientations here and let's put a mat on here real quick and just kind of see what what we're working with at the moment okay so I think one of the things I want to do is try and get a little bit more of these um, using this as a stencil and I'm going to use a little of this terracotta here get some more of this green down. I'm going to use these. I, one of the reasons I grabbed this one is I thought I could kind of try and work them together. I'm going to get those wet and get those through that green a little bit. Maybe. And a little of the terracotta apparently. And then as I'm moving along I'm just going to Kind of squeeze them a little bit, give a little bit more marks with that. Get a little more of this green. Yep, oh, had some burnt sienna on that. All right, this green is starting to give me a little bit more contrast and start moving that around a little bit more here I'm gonna let that dry for just a minute All right and we're gonna change orientations again and get some of this white and there's a little bit of blue mixed in it try and kind of break up some of this green actually kind of starting to like this uh, very very different than other things that I've done and that's good let's move it again let's see how this is looking with a mat. Actually, I like that. Um, kind of keep working a little bit. So, what haven't I used here? Where's that uh, Q tip? Let's see if I can't get some other interesting marks with that. So, I've got a lot uh, of the, the lighter colors in here. I don't have as much of the terracotta. I do have some of those dots. I think I'm going to try and mix a little of the terracotta and the uh, burnt sienna. I like that color. Probably closer to what those sticks look like. And I am going to just kind of looking at if there's any kind of flow right now, it's just this chaotic energy um, of marks. And I'm looking to see if there's anywhere where maybe I can get this in there. I like that. This actually has, it's kind of a mix of the colors. Um, they're not all perfectly mixed. So it's, uh, I actually really like that when I just laid down. I'm going to try and get a little more of that up here. A little, a little bit more of the 
burnt sienna in that. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna do, <laughs> do a whole lot more with that, but what I am gonna do is, I'm trying to think how I, want, how I can get some drips here. I think I can do it with a Q-tip. Um, I wonder if I can do it with one of these sticks. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna just try a little white, get a little water mixed in there, get that on, and then, oh, that, yeah, that works pretty well. Okay, I don't wanna do too much more of that. I'm gonna let that dry, because the drips are still pretty wet, because I just dipped them in water and come back and see what we can figure out here. Okay, so that, I uh, believe, is dry. And I've got two things that I think I'm going to do. I'm going to try and bring a little of that terracotta and burnt sienna into this area right up here. Just to, uh, I mean, get a little more of that. Yeah, if I can pick up some of that burnt. There we go. Okay. Uh, that. And then I'm going to get, I'm going to try, I have to get a different stick here. I'm going to try and do a few more drips. I'm going to do that with kind of, I don't want to open, put more of the uh, hooker's green on here, but if I don't have to waste that paint. But I'm going to see if I can get a little of that dappled around here. into some of these lighter areas. Just trying to pick up any last remnants of it. There we go. Okay. So let's take a look at this. Here's the, uh, here it is with this mat. It's very chaotic. I think it has a lot of energy, a lot of movement. Um, if I were to say a focal point, I'm guessing actually this this what I just put in. Um, it almost looks a little too clean. I might just do something like that. I don't know. That might have ruined it. Okay, and I'm gonna get a little white. Okay, um, that works. Um, but also, let's take a quick peek at this with a smaller mat and just kind of look at the pieces. And all of these have, I mean, they're all chaotic with energy. I really like this little area here. Um, like that. Again, for you know, a quick, um, chaotic, abstract painting using unconventional materials. I like this. Um, is it my favorite thing ever? Of course not, but I do. I do like it. I might just go to a couple of these spots here, just to add a little bit more um, to these areas. I kind of used like a stencil just to make those. Just draw those out just a little bit. Otherwise, um, I think I think we're at a good good stopping point for this one. Will I come back and play with it again? Maybe, um, but I think it's just a good uh, playful little item uh, to use uh, these unconventional tools. It's in my sketchbook. Uh, now I know what these uh, items will do. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this or tutorials, challenges, prompt challenges, feel free to subscribe. And uh, as always, keep on painting.